Hello friends. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hack Ethical web series. Today we are going to explain about how we can gather information about a website. Well, is that possible to collect information of a website or even the entire business that no longer exists? Answer is yes. Security researchers, ethical hackers, penetration testers, security analysts, and of course black hat hackers all rely heavily on the information collecting method known as open source intelligence (OSINT). For intelligence reasons, OSINT aids in gathering and analyzing data from publicly accessible sources. We'll explore web OSINT exercise from the try hack me room to get a concept of what open source intelligence gathering looks like. This room targets gathering information related to websites. So let's get started without further delay. We are gathering data on the target website using a variety of publicly accessible tool from the internet. Net. Scenario 1: Website does not exist. We typically use Google to find the information we are looking for about a business. Imagine yourself in a situation where you need to find some information but the desired website is no longer accessible. How would you respond? When we complete this particular assignment in which we must gather information about a website called republicofcoffee.com we will learn this when we attempt to access this website through google the following results are displayed here is the key even though the website is non existent we might be able to extract some information using osint technique how to find website owner since our target website search returned nothing We may still use a tool called lookup.ican.org to find information on the website. There are numerous additional tools available as well from which you can extract data such as the domain's owner, name servers, contact information such as phone, email, city and country, etc. Find the necessary information including the name of the business where the website was registered, contact details, name servers, the registrant's name and the registrant's country. by navigating to the online tool we stated above we come to know that the domain was registered by company called name cheap inc similarly we can find the phone number name servers name of the registrant and the country of registrant is displayed a time machine for websites now that the fundamental data about the website has been gathered from the publicly accessible tool having said that Let's find out what the website looks like even though the website does not exist now. We'll make use of the Wayback Machine, web.archive.org, which has archives of web pages from various points of time in the year. It might looks like a time machine to travel back and find the older versions of the websites. Let's try to identity of the writer of the website's very first blog. Navigate to the very first archive that we discover on the Wayback Machine's timeline. Here we go. Author of the blog is Steve. The next step is to identify the country name from which the author is writing. It's time to put our recon expertise to the test. We are aware of the location and the name of the city mentioned in the blog. After conducting some investigation, we identify the country is South Korea. If we keep reading the blogs, we can find more useful information about the blog owner. Visit the following blog to learn the name of the temple the author visited. After some research on the Mudengshan National Park listed in the blog, we discovered the temple's name as Juingzhen Buddhist Temple. Let's dig deep more about the DNS. We've gathered sufficient data up to this point to make some inferences. We need to find out more information about the website's technical aspects such as its IP address and the kind of hosting it was employing. We can discover a great deal of information about a website using the viewdns.info. Finding the IP address of republicofcoffee.com is the next thing we must do. To gather the necessary data, use the IP history. Wow, this gives us plenty of information of IP addresses assigned to this website since 2016. We now need to learn which hosting provider our target company utilizes. In this case, use reverse lookup tool. The IP that we previously discovered is linked to a sizable number of domain names. 
Given that shared hosting is much less expensive than dedicated hosting, it follows that the owner of our target website is using shared hosting. In the past six years of the domains, the IP address has changed multiple times, according to the IP history. This responds to this task's last response. Conclusion After going through the above OSINT technique, we conclude that even a small piece of information could lead to uncovering many details about a person and his whereabouts over the internet. We should be careful with what we share on the internet publicly. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet you next week with another episode. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.